Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So happy to be here and to be back. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. Today is December 22nd and we're headed right to Christmas. I got my nails done. I have a beautiful little Christmas vibe going on. I don't do my nails that often, but I'm trying to do it more. It's, I mean, my second week of getting them done. So it's red, of course. As you can see, one is a little chipped, but you know, it's the second week. So I have a little snowflake on this side. If you can see, you probably see it better later. I think I need to adjust this lighting. And it's so cute for Christmas. Let me see if you can see it a little better. Yeah, I wanted to go for red, but I'm not really like a red girl. So I think I'm kind of tired of seeing the red. But anywho, let's get right to it. We're going to be doing a little unboxing. I bought myself a Christmas gift and I want to talk about it and show it off. So remember I said I was thinking of getting some fine jewelry and investing into that? Well, I did. You guys saw my Michelle watch. My Michelle watch is a little bit naked on my arm. And I wanted some, you know, fine jewelry bracelets to complement my Michelle watch. So you guys probably already see the John Hardy. This is my first John Hardy jewelry piece. And I can't believe I'm actually getting into fine jewelry now. So let's look at the first one. Well, that came with the um, packaging. I noticed that some person got it in boxes, but I guess I did not go to a John Hardy outlet. I went to a jewelry store, so I, they just gave me in these bags. So it's a sterling silver. The bracelet is called the Icon Bracelet because they have different themes. It's um, very simple and I'm not a sterling silver kind of girl, but you're going to see why it makes sense in just a moment. Okay, I turn on the light of, of my ring camera to get better lighting. So hopefully you guys can see um, as much as possible. So we all know John Hardy has their signature style of the woven look. So this bracelet just snaps right into place. It is a little tricky. You know, I am getting used to putting it on myself. It is something that I need help with. I am left-handed. Um, so the right hand is not so ideal in putting it on. So you're going to see me fail at this a few times. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you have to put it in, you have to push it in like that. And how, how do people do this with one hand? Like that's what I find not fun with this bracelet is putting it on. Tricky, tricky, tricky. In the meantime, so I went in the store. I was like, what am I going to get today? I knew I wanted, you know, two really nice bracelets. The one I wanted well, we're going to cut the camera and we're going to head back. Here we are. Now it's on. So, look at that. So pretty. So simple. Very silver. I'm more of a gold girl, like I said. But you're going to see um, the next piece. It's very pretty. Very delicate. And it's very solid. It snaps into place. Doesn't go anywhere. And it has a nice woven look. The cost of this bracelet was about 400 US dollars. Okay, I'm back. So my sister just came in the room. Anywho, on to the next one. I hope, I hope you guys don't hear the background noise. There's like a Christmas party going on in my neighborhood and they're a little bit loud, but you know, it's Christmas. The, the roads are crazy. People are rowdy. It's just things are happening. So look at this beautiful one. So this one is about six millimeters. And the one I have on now, which is pure silver, is about five millimeters. Okay, no, four millimeters, I think. So look at this one. This one is silver, but it has a touch of gold in the center. I think the video doesn't even do it justice, to be honest. It looks even prettier in person. And you see, it just snaps into place. It's a beautiful bracelet. It actually looks thicker than I thought. So this is 6mm. 
um, and I think I'm a small my wrists are small I'm not sure if I'm extra small but when you go to the jewelry store size them yourself and you will see what suits your arm because you really don't want it too big because you don't want it to fall off of your hand this one with the 6mm is was about 1,150 US dollars around about about that. The jewelry store gave me a nice little discount, 5% off, which was lovely. But you didn't say I didn't say as much as I would have liked, but I mean it's John Hardy, so takes a long time to put on. So here it is, it's on my arm now. <laughs> it is a little tricky to put on, it takes a few seconds for me to get it right. Um, but that's how it look isn't it beautiful so delicate so beautiful if you're thinking about getting a John Hardy bracelet I don't think you'll be disappointed because I tr went to the jewelry store and I tried them on before months ago considering it and I took a picture on my phone and I slept on it for weeks or months rather and I was like, yes, I definitely want the bracelet. So it, it, I feel like it's a good investment. So it's going to look so pretty on my arm with my Michelle watch. And I'm gonna show you guys how everything looks or how I'm going to wear it. So my Michelle watch, as you guys have seen in a previous video, if not, check out the video of my unboxing a Michelle watch. It's a beautiful watch for a young woman or a woman in general, young, old, you name it. It's a beautiful watch. Um, and my watch is two-tone so there is silver and gold so with the sterling silver bracelet it really complements the watch because I'm a gold girl and I want to wear them together like this I have the silver one closest to the watch and then the bigger one and then what I would do sometimes is that I would actually wear the bigger one on my other arm so you know my other arm isn't naked you know i need a bracelet on that side as well so these are both from the iconic collection for john hardy they have a dotted collection which i saw it was really cute but they didn't have two bracelets i think i more was leaning towards the iconic for my first two bracelets and i'm very happy with my purchase i plan to take care of them and honestly make them last me um forever until i can pass them on to my children that's how i feel about fine jewelry it's something i want to be able to pass on to my children and it's like an in, somewhat of an investment to me or i don't know somewhat of a legacy that's just my perspective but isn't it so beautiful tell me what you guys think in the comment and you know who's your favorite designer jewelry designer what are you guys into right now i really like john hardy and i think next i'm going to be looking at um roberto coin for maybe my next jewelry purchase i think that's my plan so i'm so looking forward to more videos i'm gonna sh show you what i have in store to store my jewelry because you know the john hardy bag as beautiful and orange as it is it's not enough and i'm getting my my jewelry collect collection is growing so i my jewelry collection is growing so i got something really cute that i want to show you guys as to how i'm going to how and where i'm going to store my jewelry i think you guys as women as girls you would really like it it's it was kind of pricey but i think it's a good investment you're gonna see in my next video so so, so subscribe like comment and subscribe for more as to how i'm gonna store this jewelry i have so much jewelry but i'm really getting into fine jewelry just recently and in my next video you're gonna see what i got i just got it in the mail literally today so i'm gonna be doing unboxing what i'm gonna be storing my jewelry in so i'm putting all of this away in their separate compartments until i have a proper storage and i think i'll be doing um that organizing over the weekend over the christmas since there is going to be a holiday and just you know sort out my room and by the way when i say pass on to my children i mean my future children i don't have any children now just my future children 
so that's that thank you so much for watching my unboxing of my new john hardy bracelets they're the icon collection from the icon collection and you guys can check them out and you know see if you want to get into a little luxury but you know i'll see you guys in the next video so stay tuned for more like subscribe for more and i wish you guys a merry merry christmas when it comes thank you take care